Okay, time to play a match with the deck. I have not played that much blue-green. played against it a few times and I've never lost against it, but then it has been more all-in emerge. This deck is more like a mid-range, good cards type of deck and I like the basis of that more. So now we have a good two-drop, which probably is going to die since we're playing against the red. And we have a three drop. And then we can maybe clear shot something. And if we get the five mana, we might be able to stag something and so on. So, <coughs> yeah, I mean, drawing like two more lands in the upcoming three turns or something might do it. And if Duskwatch gets to stay alive. Obviously, we have a good late game as well. Okay, playing against black red, which is usually very aggressive. Uh, and now not finding a land. I think I'm just going to drag under and try to find my land drop for the turn. Weaver of Lightning might be really good against our uh, tutus if they just can string together some spells. And. I think I just want to kill. We'll see if we trades. I could just uh, kill uh, the vampire, draw a card, and try to find my fifth land drop. And I mean, I'm going to get value from the cultist. And I think that black red without creatures, then I'm in favor. Yeah, found a land and now if they play like something that dies to the stag it feels pretty nice otherwise i could play like tangle claw werewolf and then clear shot next turn or something <coughs> maybe the prey upon was a bit aggressive but i don't know it feels like it's important to keep him off too much pressure with creatures now we can play a 2-4 that's actually a pretty good blocker and we still have two other fight spells so we'll see obviously i would like to find something to stag so maybe i should have just kept the reaver alive i don't know uh, 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 but still <coughs> we have a decent board presence as it looks and I'm not going to block because he's so much representing a combat trick so we'll wait Weaver coming back that's like okay that was annoying but the Weaver is a perfect target for the stag actually so yeah that's fine so now we just play the stag, kill the weaver, and could stay home again. I mean, it's three to trades with the stag, so I don't know. <coughs> we, because we have the backward survivalist coming out and two more move our spells, and then we can start attacking, I think. Unless the opponent plays something big. So far it feels like most of the cards in the deck uh, has pretty high power level and that's nice. And the removal is good as well. I mean rabbit bite and clear shot is the one sided fight. We might even get a two for one for the clear shot if we do it like mid combat. <coughs> and that's not a card that I've seen a lot. I mean people usually just first pick it and I've never, I don't think I've opened a clear shot before. Okay, this is very aggressive. Sorcery speed plus two plus two and trample. I don't mind that. I mean, I can attack back. And they have no... I mean, I can just kill that and play a war for infiltrator and attack. So, I mean, maybe they're... A bit too aggro. <laughs> Black red should be aggro, but this felt way too aggressive for me. Even for me, and I usually play too aggressive, I think. 
it's much harder to have patience and, and wait until doing stuff. I like play tempo and put pressure on my opponent. Uh, but it looks that's just a 2-2 coming out. Doesn't do much on this board. Cannot even block the Wharf Infiltrator. And we could attack with everything. Ah, no, I shouldn't have played the forest if I want to. I'm going to get to, to loot now. I forgot about that. And the 2-4 can hold up the 2-2, two, two, so... Okay, eh. he just jumps. And now, if he goes for some shenanigans, I could respond by clear shotting, but it doesn't seem like I have to. I guess I'll just loot. Um, now I should have had the forest in hand. Yeah, then I could have thrown that away. But I guess I can turn the Hamlet Captain into a 3-2, so it works out. It work, worked out because I can also play the survivalist and should be game from there. Yeah. Black, red vampires and zombies, I guess. Uh, we can just, I think we can just clear shot and attack. See if he has some sort of trick. Hmm. I guess I could skip clear shotting also, but ah, let's just go for it. He has to be able to kill a 2-4 in response. I don't think he can do that. Unless he do something, I mean, like lightning axe would have been something. And uncommon from... From shadows, I'm not going to play around with that. He doesn't have murder mana up. Should be fine. Okay, so we beat aggro, at least first game here. And sideboard wise, I mean, we have like swift spinner, permeating mass, maybe could be something, but I don't really know. I have not played enough I mean, with or against permeating mass. I don't think that it's that good. Maybe it is, but I don't feel like boarding it even. Blue Prime Prototype, I guess, is a bit awkward since he could be very aggressive and I might not draw the, the fight spell. So then maybe a 1-3 is better that I can maybe sacrifice later if it looks bad. Sure, another good hand. A bit slow, but I have Vessel turn one. I have a Fog Walker turn two. I could maybe Vessel or Traverse for a land, and then we can play Laboratory Brute. So at least we have stuff to do. And the Fog Walker can uh, block the Skulk Lifelinker and Eternal Scourge or Scourge. I don't really know how to pronounce it. Um, it's also a good uh, blocker. Fogwalker getting to do its thing. And I guess drawing one more land, we can go to one drop, two drop, three drop, four drop. Weaver is annoying. <coughs> and Prey Upon doesn't do anything against it right now. Weaver is really good blocker. I mean, it even blocks the griff if we get that out. And uh, obviously him playing any instant or sorcery, then he can ping uh, the 3-3 three three and it will go to exile, which eh, is annoying. Like this. Yeah, this works also. Smoldering Werewolf is very good. So we have an Eldrazi in exile. Let's see if we have to play it. Okay, so we need to find land drops, and we can spontaneously mutate the Smoldering Werewolf after cracking the vessel, because I want to find my fourth land to be able to play the Brute, brute next turn. So we're getting Forest, and we can Traverse or Prey Upon or Wait. We have 
delirium now, so yeah. Just traverse for the bomb rare, maybe. It doesn't have perfection. We need one more land, but if we draw that, that could be game. And we can have mutation up for the smoldering werewolf. And maybe the eternal scourge will be left in exile for a bit. We'll see. We'll try to put it somewhere where it actually reminds me that I have it. Uh, okay, we can block the 1-1. One, one. He could attack with the weaver as well. Then we take 1 and then we can just uh, mutate the, the werewolf. Okay, so this, then we take no damage. Unless he likes, he, he, he could like um, kill the one tree now with any spell, I mean, any burn spell, but eh. As it sits, taking no damage. And the graveyard will just keep on filling up, so even if this, the werewolf flips, it uh, shouldn't be able to do anything. Okay, some good vampires. Uh, well, this is pretty hard. We could play Brute and Prey Upon. But if we play the Doesn't to Perfection and he doesn't have anything, it's better to play the, play the Prey Upon afterwards because then we get the Wizard. So I think he's down to one card. I think playing the Doesn't is better because if he had a good removal spell, he might... Ah, uh, I don't know if he would have used it, I guess. But um, one card left, then I think it's better to be able to get value from the Prey Upon. And doesn't is a good blocker uh, to all the flyers. It would be annoying if he kills it now, but okay, that's fine. Then we can go Brute, Prey Upon, have Griff for the turn after. We can still play the... Uh, Eldrazi from the exile zone. Don't kill it. Just pass the turn. If he passes the turn, I think the game is basically over. Because if we get to make wizards and attack with a 5 4 flyer, because Olivia's Bloodsworn can't block, so he can't even like double or triple block it. He has to discard to. Okay, he drew Savage Alliance. Annoying! That even kills... No, he had to do it on the doesn't, okay. Yeah, but still, his board is pretty tiny. I mean, a laboratory brute kill uh, maybe the Bloodsworn or something. Then we're back to top deck war, and then we have a Griff that can draw a card. Yeah, and we can still play the, the Scourge. Alliance was... Every time we play, even last time when I played with Jimmy, we have <laughs> all the opponents have Savage Alliance. That card is broken. <clears throat> I guess it's time for a Laboratory Brute and Prey Upon on a Flyer. We cannot kill the Weaver with the Brute, sadly. But still... I mean, he has to discard cards for Dragoon to be flying, and we're on 15. So I think I'm just going to kill off the the flyer that's always flying at, and uh, has the ability to give stuff haste, which is annoying. Smoldering Werewolf, minus 8. And we have good late game, even though the doesn't is dead. And I guess the Tangled Claw Werewolf is also dead. Hmm. No, it's milled, but it's... Okay, yeah, it's not dead. It's just gone. Uh, psh, psh. I guess... We could just try to... Okay, Senseless Rage onto... That, okay, that's annoying. Then we need to find removal. I guess he still has to discard stuff to make it flying, but it's, it's still annoying. So, I guess we don't even have to merge. 
No, we can play the card. Casting the Griff. This is also what I like about the Griff. It's, it's not that hard to just cast. And it's pretty easy to splash and you get the card back. So uh, that, that's a really good emerge creature. But still, we're staying home. Uh, might have to take four again. But the survivalist at least will have trample. And then we can maybe attack back. Alms of the Vein. Okay, the nev never put that card into your deck. Oh, that's so bad. Yeah, I don't like that card. <laughs> Even if you're super aggro, I would ju just rather play uh, any creature. I guess it did some work here, but still, I mean, that card is just bad. Oh, drag under. Pretty good. Now we have a good blocker. And we can play the cultist or... Yeah, we don't really need that. Just play the survivalist and try to go on the offensive, I guess. And the griff can't really attack, sadly, because of the weaver. So I would like that guy to die as well. Uh, let's see. I mean, he doesn't have a good block for both of them. Okay, takes three. We need to start doing something while we can. And the 5 4 trample is very good. This is why I like the survivalist. It's not that hard to get delirium in green something. And 5 4 trample for four is a good card. And we also have the Eldrazi left. So we ne next turn we can play cultist and a 3 3 and keep on attacking. And just try to dodge losing to the dragoon i guess we will have to keep the griff back so we can block that guy <laughs> yeah let's just keep on playing creatures which are bigger than our opponents i guess woodland patrol isn't that big <laughs> but still Five for trample, he doesn't have, I mean he can triple block, but I'm fine with that. Who takes it. Play out the value creature and the other human guy. And we still have a flying blocker. I mean if he kills the griff, uh, then it could be annoying. But we still get a card each time. Unless he has more good madness cards, I guess. Uh, so, I mean, we can still lose. Obviously. Just a removal spell or another flyer that's bigger. Or, I guess, more burn spells. A 2-2 two -two won't do much. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. So we rabbit bite of the 5 4. Kill the biggest blocker. Finally, get rid of that irritating card. And now it's starting to look brown for the opponent. Because black, red, if the game goes long, usually their guys are smaller than, for example, what we see in blue green, this blue green deck. <coughs> Still have to keep the Griff back though, which is annoying. Olivia's Dragoon is a good card. I'm attacking with everything that has something to trade for. Just try to get his board small, because we also can play the 3-3 three, three now. I'm fine trading off the 3-2 for any of the cards. Just to get them out of the way, so that he doesn't do some weird alpha strike. Uh, with uh, what it was the uh, yeah magmatic chasm for example would be devastating here so that's why I want to, his board to be small enough now chasm even chasm wouldn't do anything 
He would do something, but he wouldn't win, I guess. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, he's down to nine. He still has the trample guy to deal with. And he still has to get past the griff somehow. Hmm. Probably don't, yeah, no attacks. Yeah, that doesn't matter. We can just keep on attacking and just leave enough blockers to play around. Haste guys and stuff like that. I guess a haste guy into a chasm would do it, but that's two cards and opponent only has one. Okay, jump block, I like that. Now he's even further away from it. And yeah, now I don't think I can lose. I guess to some sort of burn. Maybe. Like two burn spells in a row would do it. I don't think he has it. I mean, Fire Temper doesn't do it. Collected Brutality doesn't do it. Now we should just be able to go for it. Even like, I guess if he had the card that could have stolen the flyer, the threaten effect, that would have been able to do it, I guess. Gladly he didn't. And this should be enough. <laughs> Unless he has something weird in hand. I mean, even him having that now wouldn't do it. Mm -hmm. Take it. Okay, nice. We won the game. And yeah, this was against Black Red. This deck we also faced... Uh, white blue and uh, one and also won the finals uh, pretty easy this was actually the closest game weird enough I guess I was a bit lucky but I don't know it just felt like having all this removal and also knowing that you can draw into your bombs um, made the, the deck pretty sweet and this uh, version of blue green I liked more than just all in emerge I think but obviously <laughs> any color combination where you open good rares and good removal then you can play it so yeah it worked and uh, next time we'll do a regular draft again and then it will be me and Jimmy doing some more Eldritch Moon uh, starting to look forward to drafting something new we're a bit done with Elish Moon. I guess we'll give it a few more goes, but eh, it's not. It hasn't been one of the favorite favorite type of formats. It's 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 fine, but I'm a bit curious about um, Kaladesh. So I guess it's a bit. It's 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 some time left, but yeah, we'll do a few more of these in the meantime. See you later. Bye.